this world is such a, um, and when I say this world, I mean it. I don't mean in an ideal sense. I mean in uh, every day, every little thing you do. It's such a, give me, give me, give me. What's going on YouTube? It is Agent So Fresh and welcome back to the Agent So Fresh channel. This is another highly requested video. This is going to be a tutorial on how to make my Playmaking Shot Creator. So I do use my Playmaking Shot Creator anytime that I use I play the threes. Whenever I play the twos, I use my score machine. But whenever I ever I uh, whenever I play the threes, I use my playmaking shot creator just for the fact that he has a lot more playmaking in his build. Um, I am going to be using this build during formula. The last formula that I played, I did place uh, around the 60s. You know, um, but hopefully this on this next formula, I will be live streaming it. We're trying to aim to hit top 10. I couldn't hit top 10 last time because I had to switch teammates like three or four times. And uh, I stopped playing the last hour of formula just because I couldn't find the teammates. Uh, so I just had to give up. But hopefully on this next formula, we hit top 10. And this is going to be the build that I use to win formula. So it is going to be a point guard. And the pie chart that we're going to uh, choose is the playmaking and shooting pie chart because we are making a playmaking shot creator. Now, obviously, you want to go with the speed. Anytime you're a guard, you want to go with the speed. You're trying to be the quickest person on the court. All right. So <clears throat> disclaimer about this build. I don't drive inside. This build can drive, but it is not one of the most consistent uh, finishers. Uh, I mainly focus on the playmaking, the shooting, and the defense because I have teammates that can cut. I have teammates that can catch lobs, so I don't have to be really worrying about driving inside. I let my teammates be the ones that finish in the inside. So make sure you uh, max out your mid range, your uh, you, you know your three point, your your free throw. And then I'm sorry, your free throw. Don't touch that yet. Touch your post fade. I max that all the way up and then for your free throw just keep moving the, the tick markers until you hit 20 shooting badges 20 shooting badges is all you need uh i am tweaking this my playmaking shot creator has 22 shooting badges but honestly you don't need those extra two shooting badges it's just a waste of uh spots that you could be using on something else so max out your ball handling your pack at pass accuracy if I could remake this build it would be this one exactly so I'm gonna be hooking you guys up with the even better one than I am using currently so uh, 20 uh, playmaking badges is what I have but you can add more um, if but the thing is I feel like 20 playmaking badges is this is more than enough uh, than I need to use the main like I said the main thing I focus on is my shooting my playmaking and my defense That's the thing that makes this build so overpowered is because I, I'm gonna have a 80 rebounding when I hit 99 So you got to max out your defensive rebounding steal lateral quickness perimeter defense And then I think what I did on mine was I maxed up my interior defense But there's no point to to max out your interior defense. So put it on offensive rebound there's been so many uh, times that I've been put in situations to where I was on the offense and one of my teammates missed a shot and I could have gotten the rebound, but I couldn't because I didn't upgrade my offensive rebound. And then your block, you just want to keep moving it up until you hit 10 badges. Um, if you feel like you don't want to put too much on offensive rebound, what you can do is you can just max out your block and then put the rest on it uh, on offensive rebound or if you really want to you can put it on interior defense or you can just rock nine defensive badges you don't need 10 i just like to have 10 just because like i said i i i like to focus more on my defense plus um, i'm not really a finisher so i don't need to be putting it into the inside so um your your driving layup is going to be a 69 your driving dunk is going to be a 69 uh I, I maxed this one out actually yeah it was a 69 and your driving layup is a 69 uh once you hit 99 all these attributes are going to go up plus five so you don't really have to worry about it you will have a driving layup of over 70 you will have a driving dunk of over 74 or 75 or whatever the case is um 
so like i said i recommend that you use the tent the extra points to get the the extra defensive badge um, but if you don't want the extra defensive batch, I recommend that you just max out your driving layup Max out your driving layup and then with these four you can't really get another badge So uh, that's why I'm saying I rather just you know put this to 69 and then put the rest of it on offensive rebound to get that extra 10 Defensive badge. So now you have one finishing 20 shooting 20 playmaking and 10 defensive but like I said, if you got if you want to rock with nine defensive badges, just take some some of this off, take some of this block off, and then you can put it in, you know, playmaking and get that extra playmaking badge. But I feel like you don't really need that extra playmaking badge. All right, so the next thing you gotta do is pick the body style. The body style does not matter. I always pick um defined on all of my guards but honestly if i start making guards um you know if i start making any more builds and start grinding more builds i am going to make them burly the reason why i want to make them burly is because i've been seeing a lot more guards on the court with burly and they look intimidating they look like centers on the court so people will sleep on you they, they're gonna think that all you're gonna do is drive in and Honestly, it confuses me whenever I see a point guard with a burly I, I think that they can't shoot. I think that they look slow But little do they like, you know, little do you know that they're actually, you know A point guard with a 94 speed can shoot limitless can do everything you feel me So I'm going to start making all my point guards burly, but as of right now uh, currently my build is he's defined, but I I'm going to start doing burly they just look more stockier. They look more intimidating. All of my guard builds are six foot five. Look how big he looks compared to if I were to pick him as defined. Look, he looks. This is a little boy. This is a little boy. I, I don't want to look like a little boy no more. I am grown. I am a grown man. Where's my beer? Give me my beer, cause I'm a grown man. Look at me. Look at me. I look so much better on barely. I look like you can't mess with me. I look like I'm about to dunk on you, even though that I only have a 70 driving dunk. So anyways, the reason why I use 6.5 is because it helps out my defensive a lot. It doesn't drop anything else. It helps my slashing inside. It gives me a 70 driving dunk. And it, it, my layup does go down a bit, but I am not worried too much about my driving layup. My mid-range, I don't really shoot mid-ranges, but I've still got an 83, which is still really good. My ball handling goes down, but that's fine because we're going to adjust this in order for us to be able to speed boost. But take a look at my defensive rebound. Plus six on my defensive rebound. That's how I'm going to be able to have an 80 rebounding once I hit 99. And look at my block. My block went up to 69. Offensive rebound went, only went up two, but that's fine. My interior defense went up. And I just feel like as a guard, six foot five is just the wave to go. Don't worry about the speed too much because uh, once you hit, you know, you make sure you go uh, medium weight. Medium weight is the what you want to do because you want to take advantage of this uh, acceleration. So go medium weight, and for the wingspan, you're gonna go minimum wingspan. Minimum wingspan is gonna make you get an 87 ball control. So that way you're gonna be able to speed boost off the rip. All right. So this is gonna this is an overpowered build. Like I said, this is my threes build. I'm gonna be the point guard. I'm gonna be focusing on mainly trying to shoot threes. I'm not really gonna be driving inside, but even if I do need to, I still can drive inside with the driving uh, with a 70 driving layup and a 67 drive. Uh, I'm sorry, with the 67 driving layup and a and a 70 driving dunk. All right. Now for the grand badge. You could pick each each one that you want, but I feel like the shot creating one is the most overpowered one. I feel like this the spot up shooter, um, honestly, it's just a waste of time because if you're already hitting your shot consistently from three, like from the th three line, what's the point of even having this? If you could already shoot green light, what's the point of even having this sharp shooting one? You're better off just picking this playmaking to help your teammates out or to break ankles or the shot creating the reason why you will use the shot creating is because with the shot creating takeover it is so easy to fade shots from the three line and it's very important uh, uh you know to have that because 
just in case you can't do a stop you know you can do a quick stop and shoot you can just do a fading shot instead of having to stop you can just fade away from the three and hit it consistently that's why i think that the shot creating takeover is uh really overpowered on that so make sure you pick the shot creating in my opinion that's like the better one for this build so we have built a playmaking shot creator i'm going to show you the best badges that you can use for this build All right, so like I said, don't worry too much about the speed. When you go do the Gatorade workouts, you're going to get a plus four on your attributes for your physicals. Or if you're Superstar 3, you're automatically going to get it because of the Gym Rat badge. If you haven't had the Gym Rat badge, I recommend that you play My Career and you unlock that Gym Rat badge as fast as possible because you don't have to go to the gatorade facility to do those workouts once a week and then you automatically get plus four anyways so uh the the with the plus four you're gonna have a 91 speed and then once you hit up to to you know after 95 you're just gonna keep getting a plus one on it so i believe when when you hit uh 99 on this build you're gonna be about like 95 speed all right, so for the for the finishing badge, I usually use consistent finisher or contact finisher, but consistent finisher just helps you, you know, hit those missed time layups. For the shooting badges, this is going to be the best shooting badges that you can run on any build to be able to shoot consistently. These badges are the only badges that you need to shoot consistently in this game. You don't need, you do not need dead eye. I shoot consistent. Uh, you know contested shots all the time you do not need dead eye these are the only badges that you need to be real with you you don't even really need green machine anyways i've taken off green machine all the like a lot it honestly doesn't matter as long as you can know how to time your jump shot you should be able to green if you could green your first shot then you should be able to green every single shot without green machine and it's just that simple so you could honestly take off green machine and put it on something else but the only reason why i put on green machine is because i pair it with my difficult shots so whenever i go for a lot of fades uh and then i'm already starting to get hot because i've been hitting a lot of greens obviously my green window expands more which lets me hit more fading shots even like consistent you feel me so that's why that's the only reason why i have green machine is just because for those difficult shots they're easier to make all right so for, for my playmaking badges you're gonna go dimer floor general handles for days quick first step and unpluckable some people only like to run unpluckable bronze i feel like i get ripped a lot whenever i run unpluckable bronze so i put it on hall of fame but what you can do too is you can put bailout and you can put needle threader if you don't need floor general then you can obviously put needle threader and lob city passer i run these badges right here if i'm uh you know rep farming i use these badges right here when i'm playing on the twos or the threes so that way i can throw a lot of lobs i will be running these badges um something similar to this during formula because i will have to be throwing a lot of uh, lobs uh, which most likely it'll probably look something like this Just so I make sure that I don't get ripped But those are going to be the badges For and this is what makes this is what makes this build so overpowered because the 10 defensive badges There's not a lot of guards that have 10 defensive badges gold clamps is the most overpowered badge for guards especially when you're playing against centers because all you have to do is just bump them one time they will drop the ball and they it will force a turnover especially when playing on the 1v1 court so intimidator gold pick dodger and what, what i like to do is rebound chaser from playing on the twos because like i said this build does get an 80 rebounding and i promise you that i snag over centers all the time this is what makes this build so overpowered especially on the defense i snag over centers all the time another thing that i always get on this build is snatch blocks if you want snatch blocks make sure that you put rim protector on bronze i like to put i so the more the higher you go the more effective it'll be but you know what you can do is you can run gold rim protector pick dodger on bronze whenever i get the most snatch blocks it's because i'm running gold rim protector but these are going to be the badges um this is the build that i will be using in formula like i said it is going to 
it is i promise you this build is really overpowered especially if you run a lot of threes make this build let me know in the comment section what you think about it like the video subscribe turn on post notification bells i do live stream every single day at 10 o'clock we just hit 3,000 subscribers so big shout out to fresh squad for for doing that i'll see you on the next video